Today I show you our web content management extension for IBM Connections. Let me start off by explaining why we developed this solution. We just love IBM Connections. Why? Because IBM Connections is excellent in peer-to-peer -peer collaboration. Web content management systems are excellent in top-down communication. Peer-to-peer -peer collaboration and top-down communication are just very different. Thankful, IBM Connections is an ideal platform to integrate internal communications content. It is very popular with the users and it delivers many services that can be utilized for web content management, like the access management, the search, all the social features like liking, commenting and sharing. This is where we stepped in and developed XCC, our web content management extension for IBM Connections. We developed the start page which provides a consolidated overview for the users filled with handy widgets for content display and structure. The selected content is maintained in IBM Connections communities. The start page is easily configured directly within the IBM Connections user interface. So let's have a quick look. On top of the page you see the integration within the original IBM Connections navigation. Underneath Home we implemented our start page. Underneath Connections you'll find a classic activity stream for the users. This is just one possible solution. You also could mix the activity stream with our widgets on one page. Above all other widgets, you find the navigation widget. It displays the navigation of a wiki within the source community. It has the typical features like drop down and it links you to the wiki page or any external link you want to. Underneath, you find our top news widget displaying important news. It's one of our three news widgets displaying blog entries in a typical new style fashion with a picture, the date, a headline and a brief abstract. We also have the news channel widget with different channels within one widget. Here you can navigate through the single entries. You can open any entry as an embedded experience and see if the entry was commented or liked and also directly like the entry or navigate to the original blog entry. So you have all the social features directly here on the page. The last news widget is a single news channel, where you have one news channel highlighted within one widget. The quick links widget can be filled with tabs of useful links helping the users around. Like any other content on this page, you can even personalize the tabs, as you see here by region or business unit of the user. The events widget can be filled with events out of different communities. Each source can be highlighted in a different color. If you click on an entry, the embedded experience will again pop up and in this case show us the people attending, further information and an option to navigate to the source event. The set a content widget you see here used as a help center displays the content of a single blog entry one to one. So you can really get creative and embed videos or create buttons. You can do anything you can do within a blog entry. So feel free to experiment. On the left hand side, you see a typical connections widget, My Communities. There's a wide range of connections widgets you can implement on the start page. But let's check out some other layout options. Here, for example, you have a three column layout where the center is a little wider. There's also the option to implement the activity stream, so you would not have to implement two sites next to each other. You would just have one start page with mixed content. Like for example here you have the three news widgets on top and underneath the activity stream. Like the activity stream you also can implement the right column with any layout. Like here with some news widgets on top followed by a help center and different connections widgets. So we really have a wide range of options within the system. To provide you with an idea on how easy the configuration works I show you one quick example. With sufficient rights, you can edit each widget and set the content streams, the width and the height, or in this case even if the number of comments and like is displayed. After saving your changes, it will directly be displayed on the start page. You can also change the widget's position by dragging and dropping them to another place. I really hope you liked this brief presentation. If you are interested in more detailed information, check out the other videos, our website or just contact us. We are happy to arrange a personal presentation or provide a demo installation for you. See you soon!